Yeah. My name is Akashi and in this video we are going to be going into the best teams of the month for the month of August 2021. August came to an end real quick, real quick. But um man, <laughs> has it been a time? Has it been a time? But um yeah, I just need to give this disclaimer because everybody needs to know before I actually start this video because there's always one person that complains the teams that i show in this video are not in order so the team that comes first could be worse than the team that's fifth but you just need to know that these teams here are the top five teams in my opinion so it's not just based on what team is overall the best but what team people are using most in pvp as well so it's those two factors because some teams are really good but really in this just a specific meta nobody's using them so just bear that in mind but yeah hopefully you guys are going to enjoy this video uh this video usually gives people like a guideline to what teams and units they can use for a team and maybe build towards something but if you haven't already make sure to press that subscribe button we are on this grind to 25,000 subscribers all my social media links are on the left is the youtube channel but we've got a twitter twitch red instagram and a discord link all in the description below but i'm not trying to hold you guys up any longer let's actually get into the video now so number one on this list if you didn't expect this team to be on this list you should go get checked out because there's something wrong with you well we've got hybrid saiyans here uh this is not the most optimal hybrid saiyan setup but it's just what i'm running um just down to preference honestly but um hybrid saiyans are probably the most annoying team right now in this meta if i go to the character list i'll show you a bunch of characters that they have so this super saiyan 2 trunks is honestly so dangerous he can be a vital point but he does not help out the FSK, so Father, Son, Kamehameha, Gohan, Super Saiyan 2, Gohan, because he actually banks on Sun Family members, so people choose not to use him. However, um, I, there's also this Gohan here who has a, a nuclear ultimate, but I don't advise actually use him if you want to run an optimal hybrid team. team. Hi, optimal hybrid teams doesn't even need a blue. That's how good they are, honestly. Uh, greens, they have this Trunks here, who's actually solid. They got Go Tanks, and this Gohan here should be due a Zenkai very soon. And when he does, he will be probably good because he's a support type. Uh, he has support type attributes, rather, I'd say. He's a melee type, which is why I pressed him again. But um, going into the purples, you got this guy here who can actually buff this guy here, the best LF in the game, which is actually bizarre. He's a revival unit. And they also got the Golden Zenkai, which released recently, who can also buff him, uh, which is bizarre. Yellow, this go on here actually makes the... the, the, the the cancerous team that we see, the triple Gohan team, FSK, that Gohan dead, I just went past in the, uh, the the Super Saiyan adult one. And then for red, FSK, like I mentioned earlier, literally the best unit in the game. Uh, for the most part, anyways, especially when he's last standing. But um, yeah, Hybrid Saiyan is just deadly, man. <laughs> if you have it, the, the full team entirety, you should be using it. But it's, it's very common nowadays because it's actually it's that good. But yeah, Hybrid Saiyan had to be on the list. They're number one. Number two, we've actually got God Key. God Key is another team which just <laughs> is always doing good. I always mention this in every single uh, best teams of the month, but God Key is always going to get some new units that literally just break the limits uh, simply because of how the Dragon Ball franchise is. All the strongest characters are basically God Key characters. Uh, so, um, and Goku and Vegeta, they're only in God form, so only going higher than that. So, um, yeah, we recently got SSBE Vegeta, who I don't have, um, unfortunately. Uh, but. <laughs> He is actually very good. Uh, I'm trying to change the settings so I can see characters that I don't have. Because for some reason, I actually can't see him. Not acquired. There we go. So you can see SSB Vegeta right here at the bottom. He's actually a solid yellow you can use. He's actually given utility to Beerus because SSB E Vegeta doesn't work that well. Well, it doesn't work as well with Vados. But with the God Key team that I run, I run on the healing composition, which is why it's like that. But um, there's so many good God Key characters, man. Honestly, Goku Blue, Vegito Blue, even Clapku is even good. Vados and Beerus. People saying Vados is Asian, but she's beautiful in my opinion. Uh, Fusions of Marsu at 14 stars or 9 stars or higher even is really good. UI got that dodge mechanic. Rose, Vegito, God Vegeta, Champa, Gogeta Blue, Zamasu. Like, you can just see there's a lot of good God Key units. And honestly, if they're not here for you, tell me why in the comment section below. Because I feel like they need... Whoa, my voice there. They needed to be on this list. But yeah, they're number two. That's the God Key team. Even Charlotte has a uh, Super Saiyan God and he should be getting his blue transformation soon. But yeah, number two, God Key. Number three on this list, I've actually got Regeneration. 
Regeneration, I've actually been seeing them quite a bit more because I feel like people are just tired of all these hard hitting units. So they decided to go for this tanky route. Regen is very tanky, honestly. And on top of that, they can do a lot of offensive damage as much as a lot of the other teams who strictly focus on offense, which is crazy. But if we go into the character list, Android 21 free to play. I use her because I don't have Kid Buu. But if you have Kid Buu, Kid Buu is so optimal, man. He has so many options. But um, to be honest, I think it's more down to preference as well. But Kid Buu is blatantly better, especially in the hands of a great user. Um, but because she's free to play, she's just way more accessible. But so it's down to you. Uh, Fat Boo here, Fat Boo here at Zenkai 7, he is literally always on a, uh, a, a regen team. If he's not on a regen team, he's bugging out. Android 21 here is pretty good. I've seen some people run Metal Cooler, which is actually quite bizarre. But he's decent. Uh, for purple, you can see that we've got the 21 girl here, Evil. Uh, she's actually pretty solid. She even buffs the health. Uh, Fusions of Marcia, yet sometimes people run him. I don't recommend it, but people do. Because most of uh, the, the team is powerful opponent anyway, so you can actually run him and it won't be a difference. Or you can even run DKP, which is solid. People definitely do. He's got one of the highest blast arts damage in the game, which is actually crazy. Yellow, we obviously got DKP, who I'm actually working on almost Zenkai 7. And he can also be um, uh, used alongside this guy here, which is actually very solid. But he only buffs Yellow on Legends Roll, so he doesn't actually give DKP a Zenkai buff, but it's, it's solid. I think DKP actually gives that Piccolo a Zenkai buff, uh, yellow and regen, which you can see. And then for red, we've got obviously the revival cell here. But you can also run Karot Zamasu because like I said, powerful opponent. And uh, this red cell also buffs whatever red you want to use. And I missed out on Piccolo because I don't have him at Zenkai 7. But if you do, he's actually a force to be dealt with. But regeneration, man, they, they got options, honestly. Uh, don't sleep on them if you can build it. It's actually quite free to play as well. Fat Boo's in the Ultra Space Time Rush. DKP's in the Ultra Space Time Rush. And Android 21, uh, she's free to play. So you can go ahead and build it. But yeah, they're number three on this list. Regeneration. Number four on this list had to be Saiyans. Another team which you cannot go without putting on this list, in my opinion. Saiyans has just formed, has gotten to the point basically to where they're going to be always optimal. Like, it's disgusting. But the Zenka characters that they have, they're always going to be a go-to team if you just want to survive and just do a lot of damage. They're equally as tanky if not more than say and regeneration which is crazy but if we just look at the characters and the options they've got uh you can see that actually going through the health buffing route with raditz but zenkai 7 namek goku is crazy man a defo option uh margin vegeta he's 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 an option but he got replaced uh looking at the green we've got the zenkai 7 super saiyan 3 goku i don't advise using anybody else honestly purple we've got the zenkai 7 super saiyan 3 goku as well but you could use the super saiyan 4 goku if you please uh for yellow we've got angel vegeta which literally needs to be on the team simply because of how much he heals the team and other things that he actually does to contribute like his cover change for example and then for red we've got ultra goku just because he gives that ultra ability for the whole team because they're all saiyans as you can see saiyans has lots of units which literally they may not even be used on the team for, um, because of the tags that other tags they have like ssb vegeta for example he doesn't buff saiyans uh but um obviously he's the same because it's vegeta but just thinking about things like that you can form a lot of lot of uh teams given with saiyan characters and that's why i always feel like they'll be an optimal team whether it's units that don't necessarily buff the team or they do there's always going to be options to form a good Saiyan team. And that's why they're always going to be on this list for the most part, in my opinion. Unless the other teams just step up their game differently. But yeah, they're number four on this list. That's Saiyans. Now, for number five on this list, people might disagree. But I've been seeing this team a lot, man. And it's actually a very annoying team. And it's a very good team at that. We've got Sagas from the movies. Movies have been holding up and ever since they got this revival Go Gohan alongside the Red Bojack, I've just been seeing them everywhere, man. Literally everywhere. Um, them two literally just hold up the whole team, generally speaking. But you've got some other options all around. So for blue, um, you could you could uh, Zenkai buff this Broly here. Um, I haven't seen it done, but people sometimes do run cooler. It's very rare, but sometimes people do. Even the blue Gogeta here and this Gohan here. Blue has a few options there. Going into green, people do run this green trunks over this Broly sometimes. But then again, it is preference. And I've actually seen this Super Saiyan Goku sometimes, which is bizarre. But he's actually has some explosive blue card damage. The Goten here, uh, the purple Vegeta here is actually very tanky, cover changing. Revival Gohan is obviously your go-to. And they've even handed out a free-to-play Broly. 
Uh, for yellow, you've got Gogeta, blue, and the God Vegeta. I don't feel like anybody else should be an option for you. Uh, definitely not this yellow Broly. But for red, Bojack has been the main man. There's the red free to play Broly and even Zenkai 7 Super Gogeta. So you can see that how this team can definitely be annoying, especially when they bank on this guy reviving. Like, whatever team this guy is on is probably going to make the cut because that guy here, the revival Gohan, he is crazy. But that is the number five team uh, for this list, the top five best teams of the month. I'm going to go into some honorable mentions now because I know there's going to be a few people in the comments triggered. Uh, so, yeah. All right, so, boom. Going into the honorable mentions, any of these teams can actually neg the top five teams. But I feel like these teams are just not as popular anymore uh, because we all know that PvP most of the down to the uh, comes down to the actual player. But these teams here, I just feel like they're not really that meta, simply down to what people are using and what current units are in the game at the moment. But Androids, of course, we see Android 18. Game Press recently moved her out simply because of the team variations in the meta. And if we're basing it on teams, I completely agree. But Android 18, in my opinion, throughout the whole game, is probably the most toxic unit to deal with, which is why Androids is also here. But they also have a solid all round team if you build them correctly. Like, they're actually a scary team to face up against. Lose one priority and that could be your whole team wiped out for real. And the other team here, I've got Sun Family, uh, Namek Goku, Super Saiyan 3 Goku. Like it just kind of has to be here because it's literally a mix of Saiyans and hybrid Saiyans. So um, <laughs> putting them together just makes a very, very dangerous combination which you don't actually want to deal with. Now, I can't really show any more uh, teams, but I have actually four teams for my honorable mentions. The other two teams I want to mention is actually Super Saiyans and GT. I feel like I've been seeing a lot of GT, which is crazy. And GT is actually quite a solid team, only if you have all the Zenkais. But they also have the addition of the Oob, the Majub, and the Super Saiyan 3 Kid Goku, which actually do a solid job for uh, GT. But Super Saiyans, like I said, uh, I've said before in previous uh, best teams of the month, is basically Saiyans, honestly. But um, they have to be Super Saiyans, obviously. But Bardock just makes people insane. Uh, I've seen the green Broly on that team, which really, 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 really does numbers. Uh, and Super Gogeta sometimes. Like, like, you can form a Trinity team or just build your own, honestly. But Super Saiyans is also another team that is very underrated. Uh, so, yeah. But, yeah, I'm going to leave it like that, guys. Hopefully, you guys enjoyed this video. Let me know if you have any agreements or disagreements in the comment section below i really do like hearing your thoughts of course this isn't strictly my opinion but i feel like since i've really played the game my opinion is some sort some way so, some way some form valid so um yeah hopefully you guys take this uh tips wherever you need a guideline on building your own team or whatever but press that subscribe button if you haven't already on this grant to 25,000 subscribers more content like this coming man good content all my social media links on the left is the youtube channel but we've got a twitter twitch reddit instagram and a discord link all in the description below I'm just going to leave it like that, guys. That's it for August. My name's Akashi, guys, and I'll see you guys in the next one.